Have you ever had a print that turns out all spongy or with missing layers? This is one of the most common 3D printing problems and it's called under extrusion. And for me personally, I had this issue a lot when I first started 3D printing. If under extrusion is happening to your 3D prints, stick around because today we're talking about under extrusion. I'll show you the causes and solutions to this annoying problem and how Quinley Vision detects it when it's happening. I'm Steven from 3DQ and today's video is the second out of 14 on our series going over the 14 different failure modes that Quinley Vision, our AI print supervisor, can detect. Under extrusion happens when there's not enough material in your print and it can be annoying to diagnose because there are so many different causes for this problem. But there are some key indicators that can tell you when it's happening. So the first one is when your extruder gear is clicking or grinding. That can let you know that not enough material is getting pushed out of the hot end. The second thing you can look for is missing layers. So if your print is going great and then something weird happens and then it recovers, you'll see that your print has a few missing layers and that can indicate some intermittent under extrusion where it's not consistent throughout the whole print, but your extruder or your filament, something had an issue, but your printer recovered. The third thing you can look for is a spongy print texture. And this is what I would call consistent under extrusion, where your printer just has a consistent issue that persists throughout your whole print. The fourth thing you can look for is gaps between the lines on your top surfaces. So if you can see that your lines aren't really connecting very well, then you're probably not extruding enough material and you have under extrusion. So when Quinley Vision looks for under extrusion, it looks for the spongy texture that's present when your print is consistently under extruded. If you have intermittent under extrusion, it's a bit harder to detect with a machine learning algorithm, but when you have under extrusion sporadically throughout the print, that can actually lead to other issues. So when Quinley Vision detects under extrusion, it's probably saving your printer from a more annoying or more severe failure. So one of those is a nozzle clog. When your filament has trouble extruding, it'll possibly have a lot of trouble extruding to the point where it won't come out of the nozzle. Another failure related to under extrusion is spaghetti, which can happen when you have intermittent under extrusion. So when your print recovers after <laughs> under extruding for a long period of time, then you might just have nothing to print on top of. So it creates just a pile of spaghetti on top of an under extruded part. So how you can prevent under extrusion from happening on your prints is first of all, check your settings, make sure your flow rate is set to hundred or somewhere close to that anyway, if you've calibrated specifically for your filament. And if you're using another slicer, it might be called extrusion multiplier. The next thing you can do is check your hardware. So your filament path from your spool to your nozzle, anywhere along there could be an issue related to your under extrusion. So for your spool, you wanna make sure that it's spinning freely. It doesn't have too much friction. You wanna check your extruder gear to make sure they're not clogged, to make sure they're not worn out. And you wanna make sure your extruder mechanism is uh, working properly. And sometimes they'll actually crack, especially some of the plastic ones. So you wanna like, uh, check for cracks on your extruder. Finally, you wanna check your hot end. So if your hot end isn't getting sufficient cooling, then it can lead to a problem called heat creep, where the material softens before it gets to uh, the real melting zone and that can cause it to swell and clog the nozzle. You should also look for something called a partial clog, which is where debris or dust gets into the nozzle and prevents the full amount of material from coming out of the nozzle. And the fix for a partial clog is to do something called a cold pull. And that's described in a bunch of videos. So just search it up in Google. I'm sure you'll find one. You'll also want to look for material related issues. So if you're printing too cold for your material, that can lead to under extrusion. If you're printing too fast, that can lead to under extrusion for similar reasons. If you are using the wrong filament diameter, that'll definitely lead to under extrusion or over extrusion if you get it flipped around backwards. And you wanna check your extruder motor calibration. And this is sometimes called E-steps. And it's essentially just the amount of rotation required to push one millimeter of, of material. And there are many tutorials how to do this extruder calibration, so I won't go over it here, but there'll be a helpful link in the description if that's your problem. So it's really helpful that Quinley Vision can detect under extrusion. It makes automated 3D printing better because it can detect a minor issue before a bigger issue happens, such as a nozzle clog or spaghetti. If you wanna try Quinley Vision out for yourself, check out our demo, it's linked in the description. In the next video, I'll talk about a printing issue that commonly follows under extrusion, which is no extrusion. So that's all for today. Don't forget to drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.